So I'm up in the second story of the granary. Um, just trying to recover some of this wood. The, this granary is actually used by my grandpa when he was still alive. Um, he was born in 1912 and died in 1999. So 24 years ago, I would have been four. Um, I have some pretty good memories of him though. Not a whole lot, but still pretty good. Um, but my, my dad and he, him, he used to store barley and oats up on the second floor <coughs> for the cattle in winter. So they'd have something to eat. So this was definitely a building that they got good use out of. And, uh, Allie and I intend to get good use out of it again. So, as you can see, the roof is completely shot. You know, all the light poking through, the rain comes down, it's just rotting everything really quickly. And um, I think this, I think this building has, yeah, so this building did get asphalt shingles. It, I think it had wood shingles originally, like the barn. But they're just, they're not structural. So we're actually planning to use this kind of wood in the barn. Um, we'd prefer to use wood from the farm and not boutique wood you get in the city, you know, either fake aged wood or wood from someone else's farm. So it really means a lot to be able to, to use this wood, um, you know, continue my family's legacy into the future. And in a building like the Barndo is going to be, it's going to last another hundred years, which is, it's a good feeling. It gives you the warm fuzzies. But the floor is really structurally unstable. I actually have to take care to when I walk to put my feet on top of the joists, otherwise they break through. I already have in a couple of places and I don't want to go to the hospital and I don't want to catch tetanus. So I'll be really careful. Just uh, really all I'm going to get up here are these, these nice, they're still pretty good shape boards. And then I'm going to go down on the first floor and work down there. And then when we knock the building down, I'm going to get some of this other stuff that's still structural, but, but, uh, would be good to use. So I'm going to keep smacking around. I've got these about halfway off. So try and keep them all in one piece and recycle them and use them as a cute accent wall. vividly remember playing in here with uh, my older siblings as a kid. We'd climb up, so the ladder is right over here. We'd climb up this ladder and play around in the second floor and we'd drop stuff down the chute here um, to the first story, so kind of fun to relive old memories. And to bring bring the stuff, you know, the, the places we played in as a kid back to life and use them for decades to come. So, I'm on the back side of the granary. There was a little lean-to back here. And we got so much snow and so much ice this year that the entire thing collapsed. And we're going to use these as little accent things. I don't know. Ellie's got all the ideas. I'm just doing all the muscle work, I suppose. She's got muscles too, but she's not here, so... Um, so I'm slowly pulling all the snow off of this and uh, tossing these panels off the side. Got to be really careful though because these are razor sharp. Yeah, one thing is you do not work with these on a windy day at all because you're going to slice your hands open. It could do much worse than that. So got lucky today. There's almost no wind. 
So I'm gonna keep pulling these, throwing them off the side, and just constantly pulling the snow off. There's probably about 25 of these total, so we'll see how many I can save today before the sun goes down. Trusting the copper's not back there. Not really too confident in that. He got sprayed by a skunk. So that video I made four or five months ago, fears of him getting sprayed, they happened. Had to wash them off in the tub with baking soda, uh, peroxide, and soap a couple times. I got most of it. Um, he got it around the eye a little bit, and I didn't want to get that in his eye, so we'll have to deal with that, but 95% of the smell is gone.